Welcome to the 20th Annual Classic Auto Show and Cruise-In in Dublin, Ohio, benefiting the Arthritis Foundation. I'm Tanya Hutchins with Vintage Vehicle Videos. Join me as I mix and mingle with vintage car enthusiasts from all over the country. Uh, my name is Steve Halstead. Uh, this here is a 1968 Javelin. It's a pro street. It can be raced at the track. It's obviously modified. Got the tub rear end in it and multicolored paint. Uh, my other car is a 1970 AMX. It's pretty much a stock vehicle and it's only been driven 49,000 miles, you know, since 1970. It's now it's almost to the retirement stage. I drive it occasionally, but it, it pr pretty much sits at home. And uh, John Burchard, uh, that's a 34 Plymouth. It's got a 350 board out 40 over. It's got a uh, roller cam in it. It runs pretty good. How long have you had it? Uh, about three years. Three years? Yeah. And where'd you first see it? Uh, well, my buddy right over here, I bought off of him. Okay, it's uh, Jim. Last name is Tanner. Tell us about this Ford here. Uh, this is a uh, 1923 Ford. It's considered, or it's a tea bucket roadster. Has a 32 front end on it. It's got a 305 Chevy engine. Uh, it's pretty much GM all the way back from the engine to the uh, uh, to the drive shaft. So it's a Ford. His uh, front license plate says Ford with the heartbeat of a Chevy. It's been a um, lifelong dream that we had found a great car and i'm only the second person that ever owned it my boys kind of grew up with it and uh, everybody drives it wife likes to drive it my sons love to drive it and i love to drive it my name is bob the last name is meldall tell us about this car here uh was my favorite car i looked a year and a half for it on the internet found it in san francisco and uh Flew out, took a look at it. As soon as the guy started, I knew I had bought a car. So uh, we had it shipped back to Ohio, and uh, last, I guess it was probably April, is when this car arrived, and I've been loving it ever since. Pam Hostetter. Well, this car we bought about seven or eight years ago. It was literally a piece of junk. Your feet would fit through the floorboards. You could drag them on the ground. It had a lot of putty in it. It was really looking bad. And my brother-in-law did the motor and the body work to it. And then we've added a little bit of chrome to it, but it took us that long, what, seven, eight years to get it this way. Yeah. Think you'll hang on to it? Oh, yes. In the black and the white color of the car with the white roof, the black body, and the red interior, it's a traditional 57 Chevy. I'm here with Sharon Kepler from Logan, Ohio. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. How long have you been coming to this we've car show? We've been coming here for about five years now. And this year we decided to bring our 79 Volkswagen Beetle and it has 19,000 original miles on it and we found that this is really a great place to come there's wonderful people here to meet and we really have a good time and it's for a good cause my name is randy landrum it's it's a 1999 volkswagen beetle i gave to my wife for her birthday three years ago and uh, she's crazy about the movie bugs life so she's decorated it with over 50 bugs life creatures inside and out and even has Bugs Life on her license plate. Hi, my name is Rick Markle and I'm from Let's Go Cruise and Magazine. I'm also a member of the Arthritis Foundation Executive Auto Show Committee. What we do is we put on a car show and we're celebrating our 20th anniversary here, July 5th and 6th, 2002. The auto show is in memory of and honoring Len Impke, who started this whole deal way back 20 years ago. You do the math. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. What we do is we raise money for the Arthritis Foundation. It is one of our primary fundraisers here in the Central Ohio chapter, uh, headquartered in Columbus, Ohio. Irene Baird, the executive director and president of this chapter. This is one of our major fundraisers to uh, help those folks afflicted with arthritis. Uh, it can be one of the most debilitating diseases that there is. We uh, typically run a two-day show, Friday and Saturday. Our Friday night show is a cruise-in. It's an open show. We do uh, six, or we ha actually have six-foot trophies that we award 100 to. We have 
probably on Friday nights, 800 to 1,000 cars. Saturday, we run a closed show. We have over 1,000 cars typically show up for that. We have uh, about 26 classes, and that changes from year to year depending on what we do and what our, uh, our uh, folks are that want to be in the show. So next year, we're typically around the 4th of July. This year, we followed the 4th, which was a, a hard act to follow. Next year, we will be probably the week after the 4th. It won't fall on a holiday weekend. Uh, it'll give folks a lot better opportunity to travel into the show. Our poster child for the Arthritis Foundation here in the Central Ohio chapter is a four-year-old young lady by the name of Michaela Elliott. Michaela has polyarticular rheumatoid arthritis. Today, with the help of the drugs that have been developed from the research that has been done from the money raised by events like this, she is able to function like a normal child. And we thank everyone for uh, their donations to help sweet young things like Michaela Elliott. Good afternoon, cruisers. Here we are in Dublin, Ohio at the annual cruise in there. Uh-oh, we got a crash back of us. <laughs> got a crash that occurred behind us there. He always does this to me. But anyway, getting back to the getting back to the uh, car show, I'm Pearl Gamble of New Bloomington, Ohio, which is about 12 miles west of Marion, Ohio. We I got here a 1957 Ford Thunderbird. There was 15 now there's 21,000 of these cars made back in 1957, so that's kind of a rare commodity nowadays. But I've had it five years now, and of course I've put a change of color, put a new paint job on it. We tore it all apart, took the engine out of it, the transmission out of it, tore it completely down to get this red color on here. And I've had it painted now for, oh, I believe it's paint job on it is two years old now. But it's a decent car, and it, it runs good, and. Uh, I like it, and I guess it does what we ask it to do. I'm Larry McEldowney. I live in Marion, Ohio. This is 77 Corvette. Been painted since 88. John Steiner from Green Camp painted it. Uh, the stripes were from Mike Haynes in Zanesfield. The wheels that just got put on this year, they're American racing wheels, new tires. Spoiler we put on in 88. So, got white interior. Well, the engine's a 77 Corvette. It's stock. It's got a mild cam in it. I got the Edelbrock with two dual fours on it. 600 cc's. Chrome valve covers. My name's Bob Ashley. I'm from uh, Mentor, Ohio, just outside of Cleveland. Uh, this is a 1954 Buick Skylark. It is a very rare car. Uh, there's only 836 were produced back in 1954. This is uh, one of 100 known to exist today. The car has been totally restored. Uh, scored 399 points out of 400 at the Buick Nationals. It is one of the top Buicks in the country. My name's Rod Lucas. I'm from Marion, Ohio, and uh, this is my 62 Corvette. I've owned it for about 25 years. Uh, the paint is uh, new Corvette torch red. It's got uh, Halibrand uh, 7 by 17 inch wheels with uh, BF Goodrich TA tires. <coughs> the uh, engine was from American Speed, as I said previously and uh, it's just been a ton of fun to drive. Uh, I, it's certainly not concourse or stock, but essentially what I did was built the hot rod I wanted and couldn't afford when I was a kid. And it's never been on a trailer, it never will be, and uh, we drove it about 2,500 miles last year. We've just had a ton of fun with it. Well, my name's Mike Foley, and I'm with the Buckeye Vintage Haulers, and these three trucks here belong to our club here in Columbus, the local chapter and uh, there's about 60 members here in Columbus of a worldwide organization of the Historical Truck Society. This truck's a 1960B-42. Uh, uh, this truck originated in Columbus. It was a, owned by an uh, asphalt company. It was a tar distributor truck. And Dennis Campbell bought it uh, probably about six years ago and uh, restored it to its present uh, condition. And he converted it to a highway tractor. And this truck down here comes out of Vinton County. It belongs to a guy by the name of Tom Ganaway. And that truck is unrestored. That's, that truck worked up to a couple years ago and when Tom bought it. Now it's used for club activities. But even the wrecker part is a Holmes wrecker and it's a historical wrecker also of, of the vintage of the same era. 
and uh, this Brockway belongs to one of our club members. Um, it's a 1927 and it's pretty much an unrestored truck. It's been cleaned up some and painted at one point, but that's pretty much original condition for that truck. I'm uh, John Westfall and uh, my wife and I, Alice, uh, my Alice and my wife uh, own this car. We've had it since uh, 88 and we had a five-year restoration uh, top to bottom. The body was off in one place, the engine another. Since then we've had the engine down three times and we finally got it right. And this car is a 56C and it's a, uh, of course it's a convertible two-door coupe. These old cars are, you know, they're fun to drive for about an hour and then after that, why, uh, it becomes work. And uh, I'm too old for that, so we trailer at most places. And my wife, Alice, and I own this uh, 67 Riv. And uh, it's never had a complete restoration, but it's been painted and uh, reshod. And uh, it's been from, uh, it's a driver, got a, a 430 four barrel engine in it. And uh, uh, like you say, it's a, Riviera, 1967 two-door coupe. My name is Bob Nethka, I'm from Fairmont, West Virginia, and this is a 1959 Buick LeSabre, and uh, I've owned it since January. I, uh, whenever I bought it, uh, I paid $1,000 for it. It didn't look like this in January. It looked brown, just a lot of surface rust, but it, it one hole rusted in it. The rest of it was surface rust, and the paint was pretty well going on it, but and uh, running wise, uh, the uh, guts of it, the motor, everything is perfect. I took it, had it checked out, and everything had to do nothing to it. It's the original fabric, and we ordered it, and everything except for the door panels has been redone. All right, folks, we're getting ready. Pray the winners. I hear something in the background. I think it's our first winner coming on up. Yes, it is. By golly, let's give a big round of applause for Jasper Engine and Transmissions. This is one of their race cars that they campaigned. The winner of the Rosilli Award is a 1959 Bear Lane Ford 500 retractable hardtop. Would you like to come on up? The owner is Mr. and Mrs. Larry Jarvis. Yeah. I want to congratulate you. This is the Charlotte Emke Award. Charlotte, raise your hand and wave at everybody. This is a 1937 Bentley owned by David Timmons. And David is also the winner of his class, so I think he's gonna try to go in line. We're gonna try to do this again. Driving right up now is this gorgeous vehicle. George Conton of Finleyville, Pennsylvania in a 29 Ford Model A Woody. And this is the winner of class two, Tom Lamb in a 36 Ford 5 win the coupe. And the winner, Don Cummins of Lewisburg, Ohio, and a 49 Ford Deluxe. Larry Jarvis of Logan with a 59 Ford Fairlane. Congratulations. Glass floor, class four. Larry Jarvis, come on in. And the winner coming right now, give him the gun, Jake Andrews of Coshocton. And that is a cameo from Chevy from 1958. Look at that pickup truck. That is outstanding. And the number one, Ron Culp in this good-looking 65 Mustang. And the winner, Bill Detzel of Covington, Kentucky in a 66 Fort Fairlane. Class 8 winner stands alone. It's Jim Paxton of Pickerington in a 77 Merck Grand Marquis. And the number one car is Bob Len Levandusky of Delaware in his 64 Austin Healy. And getting his picture taken in his trophy is David Whitmer of Lexington, Ohio, his Sunbeam Alpine from 1953. And this muscle car, Paul Anderson of Westerville, 69 Chevy Camaro Z28, number one. And now, number one, James Salvino in his beautiful black 67 Corvettes. And number one, Dave Benson of Columbus, his 73 Chevy Corvette Coupe. What color is that? 
Mustard Gold. Mustard Gold, I like that. Sounds good to me. And this beautiful bed of Kate Gorsuch of Marysville, a 92 Chevy Corvette's the number one of class 16. Uh, and here's the number one car. Wow, what a car. Stephen and Joyce Constantine of Pickerington, a 65 427 replica Cobra. And this is number one, the 73 Ford Mustang convertible of Danny, Denny Lowry of Columbus. Congratulations. And there's Jim Barker, his winner, a 69 Camaro, Columbus. And the winner, Ron Hoft or Heft of Bucyrus in his 66 Chevelle. And this Gary Albaz, Galloway, Ohio, MGB Roadster from 1980, the winner of class 21. And best of show, last night wins this class, Jim Borowski, thank you, of Delaware, his 33 Ford Roadster. Congratulations, Jim. And at the number one, Frank Plummer of Kettering with somebody riding on the back. It is 39 Ford Deluxe Convertible. And this beautiful 1962 Chevy Corvette owned by Rod and Lucy Lucas, the winner of Class 24 from Marion, Ohio. And the winner of Class 25 from Dublin, Rex Clemens in his 59 Chevy pickup. And here's the winner, Jim Pitcox of Lewisburg in his 56 Chevy 210. Great Lakes Buick Regional Meet, sponsored by Bob Daniels Buick and Pepsi Proud to present the best of show in a 53 Buick Skylark, Bob and Ellen Cushman, right there. Coming up right behind in the Bob Daniels Buick Award, this beautiful 1970 Buick GSX, Brad and Jody Conley. Congratulations. Are you the best of show? Stop, stop, stop. The Wyndham Hotel Award, 1962, Buick Invicta Convertible, Jeff Frashers. We know him. Congratulations, Jeff. Class A now. This is 1903 to 1949, closed. Sponsored by All A Cart Manufacturing. And here's your winner, a 41 century, Rib and Peggy Rivenberg. Here's the winner, this 58 Roadmaster, Norman Abston driving. Congratulations. How we doing okay, guys? Class C, 60 to 69 close, and the 67 Skylark of Ed Pietras. Kind of hope I said that right, Ed. Congratulations. Pietras, Pietras. Something like that. Class F. 60 to 91 convertible sponsored by Tritex Auto Interior Specialist. Third place, the 83 Riviera of Jay Ranchel. The 60 Invicta of Tom Schoner is number two. And the 65 Wildcat is the winner of Bill Harris. Class G, Riviera and Rioja closed. 67 Riviera of Elwood Combs is three. 81 Riviera of Don and Mary McIntyre. And there's your winner, the 1984 Riviera owned by, and we don't know your first name, Mr. Smith. Perry, Perry? Perry Smith. Class H, GS and GSX performance, sponsored by Stephen Special Interest Autos. Third place, the 70 GS of Doug Durkin, the 69 GS of Philip Dian, or is it Dryan, is second. Could be Dian. And the winner, 1970 GSX of John Arangio. Class I, Grand National and Regal T-Types. The 87 Regal T-Type of Greg Spangler's third. The 87 Regal T-Type of Allison Ritchie is second. And the Regal GS, right there, of Kevin Myers, 1990, is the winner. Class J, modified, sponsored by J-Wax. Wayne Heckman's ex Camino's third. 65 Riviera of Tim Porter, second. And that good-looking white 59 LeSabre of Barry Penfound is the winner. This is the 59 to 69 Rambler group. Third place, Bruce Carter of the 62 Metropolitan, the 61 Rambler of Vassar of Bill Antonelli's second. And there is Warren Shepick in his Rambler American. Congratulations, Warren. 6870 AMX stock. I dug AMX. Two seaters, cool. Sylvia Hewitt, the 69 AMX second. And there's Jeff Duff in their 69 AMX. Black, cool. 
Now we're talking about Javelin. Javelin stock. Third place, Jeff Mossberg at the 74 Javelin AMX. Phil Martin, 69 Javelin SNT, SST is second. And that's William Campbell, the first place winner, the 69 Javelin SST. The 70 and up AMC is next. Third place, Sue Lyre or Lear in the 73 Gremlin. My mom had a Gremlin. Second place, Charles Tudor in the 72 Matador. And this is the hatchback Hornet X of Donna Barubi from 75. Congratulations. She did have a Gremlin. Third place in the non stock AMC. Richard Camp in the 71 Javelin. Second, Bob Mulgrew in the 83 Spirit. That's the 70 AMX of Frank Cravero. Cravero. Frank, congratulations. And right behind him, get your hands together for best of show for Don Weiss and his 66 American 440 convertible. Now, large wheelbase minis. This is in his Mini Cooper. Brian Gallo in the new mini division, the winner. Congratulations. This is the Mustang class, late model open Mustang. Third place, with your hand, is Ron Green. Second place is Richard Stiff. And the winner right there in front of you in his 94 red convertible is Rick Roby. Congratulations. Late model closed Mustang class. Third place, Daryl and Jill Damschroeder, thank you, in their in their 2001 model. In the 92 Coupe, second place, John Scott. And the winner in his red 96 Coupe, Jim Willoughby. Early convertible Mustang. Third place, Denny Lowry in the 73 con uh, convertible. Uh, Doug Yoder in the 66 is second and first place. Chris Waldemarson in the early convertible class, 68 red convertible, right there. Okay, this is early closed. Rick Laporte, third in a 69 coupe. Bill Higley, second in a 66 coupe. And here's a good looking first, 65 coupe from Daryl Dam Schroeder, the winner in the early class Mustang. And right behind, you're going to see this beautiful black 65 coupe. It is uh, Ron Gallagher, best of show Mustang, right there. All right, the man in the white GTO was the winner of the 64-67 Restore, Jay Wallace in his 67. Second place, uh, Richard Borowski, and third place, Becky Walker. This is the 68-74 Restore. It's third place, Donna Landis, Nancy Whaley, second, and this is Jim Evans in his 71 GTO. All right, it's time for the, <laughs> yeah, modify. 64 to 67, that's Kevin Landis in his 64 Pontiac GTO. And the stage is shaking. 68 to 74, modified. The winner, Joseph Block in his 68. Goats. Now the Porsche Club is here. Class number two, Pete Nar, Nar, oh. Norman, excuse me, Jack versus Lewis, and the winner of class two, Brad and Carolyn Schistler. This is the best of show. Or, or, is this Jim? Okay. And also, cla also class five winner. Class five winner is Jim Borowski. Number two in class five, Jim Graham. Bob Matei's three, and best of show as well. Congratulations. Mark Cadwell, Rick Thompson in the third class, and Bob Curley. The winner, the fourth class, third place, Rick Landers, Robert and Linda Helmuth, second place, and Bryce Cadle, the winner. In the next class, Bill Matice, Jim Graham, and now Jim Broski's car, which is also... 1989 Speedster, and this is a first in class award winner. Congratulations. It's time for the T-Birds. This is the Big Birds. RJ Cavallard, 66 Ford uh, Country T Bird, is third. Joe and Diane Fleck in a 64 Bird, Hardtop, second. And this beautiful 66 T Bird from Valley City, Ohio, Matt McCormick. And they call them the Baby Birds. They are so cool. Number three, Pearl D. Gamby. 
with a 57. Dan and Vicki Orr, a 56. And this 1957 bird from Westerville of Pat and Jim Hoban. TR3 and TR4s. Third place, John Thomas Westerville. Second place, Tim Swartz of Marion. And in the 60 TR3, Jim and Gail Van Order of Johnstown. 69 to 72 TR6s now. Second place, Bill Singers of Granville. And John Honey of Columbus in a 71 TR6. The winner. Seventy-three to seventy-six TR sixes. Jim Washburn is third of Columbus. Elaine Moore and Carl Moore of Dublin second. And Carl and Elaine have the first one too in a seventy-six TR six. Let's hear it in a seventy-nine Spitfire. Here's John Schilling of Columbus. Thank you very much. TR sevens and TR eights are next. Second place, Linda Gay of Newark in an 81. And the first place is Sharma Honey of Columbus in an 80 TR seven. Triumph Modified. Third place, Ryan Miles of Granville. Second place, Bill Blake of Columbus. And Bob Maines of Westerville, the 73 TR six. First, Modified. Congratulate the best of show, Pete Gallo. Bay Village in his 2000, TR 2000, what a car. All righty, it's time for slug bugs. Uh, 50s and 60s. Third place, Ted Bailey, the 60 Beetle, the 61 Beetle of Mark Garrett, and this good looking Beetle of 53, the split window, Bill Gobert. 1970 BWs. Paul Solomon in a Beetle custom with Stern, Super Beetle of Tom and Judy Diley or Divey is second, and John Fent in a 74 Beetle. The winner, number three, Convertibles. Tom Kuhn in a 72 Beetle Cabriolet is third. Brad and Carolyn Schistler in a 72 Carmen E is second. And this Cabriolet from 77, William Huntsman is number one. This is the bus category, Penny Sandoff to second, and this is Debbie Garrett's 67 camper, ready to go camping. And now here's the best of show. J.W. Stumbo with his 66 mug. Yeah. Prowler's Owners Association. Number three, Steve Kuhn. Number two, John Bueller. And number one, Larry Mace. Number three in the vintage race car class is William Yeager with a 1969 Porsche race car. Second place is Jack Rousseau, he's Alfa Romeo. And number one in the vintage race car is Jim Zuber with his Lotus 7. And judges choice number and best of show for vintage race cars. Jerry Burns from Monroeville, Pennsylvania with his 53 Ford towing his minted racer. Leading the field with pre-war Oldsmobiles. Third place is Pat Mary Brook. Second place, Richard Ridenauer. And first place is Brian Basil with his 1932 F32. The next award we have is the TV6 Best of Show Award. It's 50, beautiful 51 Olds Convertible from Cliff Benke. Coming up next in the Olds Cutlass Division, third place is Richard Skates. Second place, Sammy Beach. First place, this gorgeous convertible is Lon Patton. Full size open category, third place, Matthew Bale. Second place, Jim and Marge Creeman. First place, Harry Patterson. Next in the 442 class, third place, Bob Carpenter. Second place, Russ and Joyce, her bullet timer. First place, Raymond Leopard. Okay, well my name's Jerry Burns. I'm from Monroeville, Pennsylvania, right near Pittsburgh. It's a 51 uh, Ford Pick F1, five star cab. Uh, which means it has chrome around the window, extra chrome here. <clears throat> the bed, the bed itself is uh, oak. It's, uh, it has five coats of urethane uh, marine 
urethane on it. Or wherever the truck goes, the race car follows. I don't separate them. This has a flathead Ford 60 horsepower in it. This engine here is stock. Uh, this is called a midget race car. This car was built back in the mid to early 30s. Homemade. The whole car was homemade. Everything is aluminum on it except the nose cone where the 47 is. That is a, uh, that's steel, that's metal. Uh, the car was found in Michigan. It's a pretty good story. Uh, in, in, a, in a fuselage of an old airplane. The, my uncle and I went up to watch the airplanes. It was, he flew in the Army Air Corps in World War II. We were watching them at this junkyard. I have no idea where it was because I'm not from Michigan. And uh, here we saw the guys rolling this thing out of the fuselage of the airplane and, and I asked them what they were gonna do with it. They said, we're in the scrap business, we're gonna cut it up. I said, I'll buy it, for, or my uncle said, I'll buy it from you. And the guy said, buy it, hell, get it out of here before the boss comes. So we did, and that's where I acquired it at. Here we are with Mike Book, president of the Buick Club, and here, here he is at the end of a long two days of hard work putting on the show. How do you feel? i tired, very, very tired, but happy. We had a great show, a lot of fun, a lot of great automobiles. Excellent. Well, thank you for putting on the show. Thank you guys for coming out. We hope this thing takes off and uh, vintage videos becomes the big thing to go with. Thank you so much. You know, my name is Doug Durkee. I'm from the Cincinnati area. And uh, the car that you're viewing next to me here is a red Buick Grand Sport Stage 1 convertible. There were 232 of these cars built in 1970, of which 67 were four speeds. This is a four speed car, so it's a very rare car. There's about nine to known to be in actual existence right now, as I do handle the GS registry for the United States and have done that for the last uh, 10 years. Uh, this car is totally a frame-off restoration, which was a real experience and a very heavy pocketbook squeezer. But as you can see, the end results is a very attractive car. Definitely one of the epitome of the muscle cars in 1970. This is a 455 engine, which Buick built for a very short time. It was their largest engine they ever built. Uh, had a torque rating of 510 pounds torque to the rear wheels. Uh, horsepower rating at that time was 360 horse. This is also an interesting little sheet. This is a chart of the 50 fastest cars in the 60s and 70s, of which you might observe of the 50 cars, the Buick Grand Sport was the third fastest car rated on this 50 fastest car list. That's it for the 20th Annual Classic Auto Show. I'm Tanya Hutchins, coming to you from Dublin, Ohio. Take care of your car, and don't forget to join us for the next edition of Vintage Vehicle Videos.